Sagittarius, what up though? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general reading for the sign of Sag, wherever that resonates at for you. Keep in mind, we all have a ninth house. We all have Sag energy as part of us in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Time and energy are fluid. So take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. These readings are timeless, y'all, so whenever you stumble across this message, there will be something here for you to bring you clarity or confirmation, to empower you, to help you align to your highest timeline. And all of those things. Man, Sag, tapping into your energy. I use this Illuminated Earth Oracle deck to help bring out a, a vibe, right, as I'm connecting and meditating on your energy. And so many cards flew out from this deck. I, I, I don't even know where to start right here. Maybe some of my Sagittarians are doubting or resisting something that you are getting from your intuition. Some type of guidance. Maybe there's a little bit of resistance energy. I feel a lot of fire coming through for you. Probably having to do with this full moon eclipse that's coming up. The card that came out right after that is this Cosmos card, letting us know that the planets are working. The planets are working, maybe bringing you clarity or epiphanies, right? Maybe this clarity is something that you do not want to see or it's like, nah, I'm straight on that, right? Whatever it is, I do see this renewal coming in. I see maybe a little bit of a storm happening, brewing up. What I'm feeling intuitively is that this is a little bit more uh internal but it, you can be experiencing it externally as well as within so without right something that uh you're sort of being guided to separate from some type of whether this is a habit a thought pattern a relationship an addiction or something like that whatever this may be a relationship that's been in your energy karmic or something like that spirit wants you to know that they have your back you are being protected right now you are surrounded by loving angels and spirit guides by the divine as you move through whatever this destruction whatever this blockage is whatever this energy is and however it resonates for you spirit is saying to enjoy the ride okay with this meander card it is about our trip down the stream on our way to the ocean and this is about not getting caught up so caught up on focusing on getting to the ocean right because we are going to get there and realize that we missed out on the whole trip right the scenery the beauty so this is really about just taking it all in being grateful um being here now right i see you getting things done i see you being productive i see you making it work making it happen sagittarius and again your angels are here call on support whether it's family friends your angels your guides Coming into this pre present moment and being present with yourself and with your intuition right now, I feel like is where it's really going to be at. Um, coming into this stillness to help get in touch with your spirit and work through whatever this may be. So with that being said, we're going to jump into this tarot. My Sages are definitely channeling divine wisdom right now. You're definitely leveling up spiritually. This may be some type of commitment even a job or something that is coming up in your intuition right now or something, okay? Divine Mother, Father, Holy Spirit of the Most High messages for my Sagittarians for their highest good. Anything they need to hear right now, anything they need to know, any messages that will bring them clarity and confirmation, any messages that will empower them, any messages that will help them align to their highest timeline, to their best life. To your will will be greatly appreciated all praise and glory to the most high forever and ever it's really feeling like something's over with something's done somebody maybe is doing you wrong or sneaking behind the scenes doing some shady shit whatever it may be and maybe my sages don't want to believe what they're feeling what do we have in the recent past here for for my sagittarians wow beautiful Thank you. This may be somebody close to you, a friend, a family member, a coworker, an employer, an employee, a lover. Yep. Okay, what else? Yeah, we got the uh, three of pentacles, something at work maybe here, okay? It 
almost feels like somebody doesn't want to see you shine. Somebody doesn't want to see you successful. That's wild. It's wild. It's wild. It's wild. Can't relate. I know my sad just can't relate. What do we have here in the theme spirit? Maybe a younger person that's coming through. And this isn't for everybody. This is just a message that I'm intuitively feeling beautiful. What do we have incoming? Thank you, spirit. Spirit really saying not to overthink this. Y'all for real, okay? I know it hurts when some people do us wrong. Uh, but it's always, it's always, it's always people exposing themselves. It's always for our highest good. Whatever happens, it's happening for us, not to us. What's the advice here for my sadness? <clears throat> wow. Sheesh. <laughs> so you're definitely gaining this clarity okay you are definitely seeing things you're figuring things out you're gaining this these epiphanies epiphanies from the divine you're definitely channeling this divine wisdom right now through your intuition through your angels your spirit guides whatever you feel most comfortable calling it and it really does look like you're shining in some way here you're winning in this uh, past energy that's leading up to the current energy and it really looks like maybe something around you does not like that it looks like there was maybe a lot of chaos or conflict surrounding you i see you protected and in your bubble here sag and sitting or standing in your power i see you receiving blessings or i see your hard work paying off in some way shape or form i see you sort of glowing up here um you got to realize too, Sagittarius, that whenever you are leveling up, whenever you're receiving blessings, there's a perfect balance. There's a perfect law of cause and effect here. There is a cosmic balance. So just as high as we go, we have to go just as low. For every good, there's a bad. For all of the light, there's darkness, right? And it really just seems like that is sort of what's happening. And I know it's playing out differently for all of you, but vibes right you're being blessed you're leveling up you're glowing up and there's a lot of chaos and conflict surrounding that whatever it may be in your current energy we have the ace of pentacles the two of swords we have the three of pentacles which is the four of pentacles um the four of wands coming through in reverse it's almost like some type of energy is trying to stop you from moving through this portal is what it feels like, right? You're in the theme of the reading. You're coming through as the fool, the magician. This is a brand new chapter. It's a new quest, a new spiritual quest. You're literally leveling up spiritually. You're moving forward. You're moving into something new. You're moving away from a lot of rough energies. You're, 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 you've been through this sort of death rebirth energy this transformation this metamorphosis sagittarius and i really see you pushing through i see you learning how to set healthy boundaries and i see you continuing to stay persistent in your fight however that looks for you it's almost like you're creating a new world here and there's some resistance to that in some way with the fool and the magician you guys the very first two cards of the tarot here two major arcanas coming out for you in the theme of the reading so this is something brand new again there's just this underlying message coming through sagittarius about trusting the divine about trusting the universe and really about trusting your intuition right now knowing that the divine is going to catch you and not let you fall okay and knowing that whatever you're going through it's part of your path it's part of the plan it's part of your destiny here i'm just being drawn right to that infinity symbol on the magician's hood here and he is creating right he's channeling his energy into something new and there is this opportunity here in your current energy and again i feel like just something coming trying to distract you from picking going this way or that way something trying to tempt you or lead you this way or that way and i feel like you know this sagittarius trick no good the devil is a liar and i feel like you're you're moving forward right i don't feel like anything can touch you or stop you at this time unless you let it unless you let yourself stop you or whatever in the incoming energy here this is big y'all three major arcanas coming in for you with the sun so we have the sun the hermit i'm sorry did i say three majors wonder what i was looking at the sun the hermit the page of cups the three of swords the three of wands so a lot of threes coming in it's giving me that 
balance and harmony, things sort of evening out this progression, this progressive energy where it's like you really are, you've, you've made it through a lot. You're healing on a very deep level here, and you're, you've are you learned so much here, Sagittarius, and this is really where you're sort of glowing up. You're taking all of what you've learned, and you're letting that be your guiding light, and it's leading you right here toward this sunshine, toward this major glow up, toward this abundance, this healing on a very deep level, and this may be sort of an energy or a message to retreat right now, to pull your energy into yourself, to do you, to do some meditation, to get out in nature, and to really meditate on what what this means on a deeper level what is going on right now and how can i transmute that into something that's going to be beneficial for me with the three of wands it's almost like this is beautiful energy coming in but i'm just feeling this taking the good with the bad energy it's almost like something hurts something hurt you, somebody saying something about you or something like that, but ultimately you're gaining clarity on what the situation really is and you're turning that lead into gold, family. You're taking this as an opportunity to build your empire, to build your legacy. And again, there's just this there's just this message about healing. We all need some healing, right? Maybe these are unhealed people, um, some type of low vibrational people or something like that. New levels, new devils, right? Moving toward this wish fulfillment, though. Moving toward this new chapter. Moving into this new world. Wow. And as I say wish fulfillment, I split the deck and we do get the star. So whatever's trying to take your focus, Sagittarius, off this star, off this wish, off this glow up, off this manifestation, please know that with every good, there's a bad. Stay focused. Stay on your job. Um stay healing stay in a high vibration and continue moving toward what it is you're trying to create i just feel like this is some type of karmic situation maybe even from a past life i don't know uh wish fulfillment double wish fulfillment coming out for you so you're moving toward abundance you're moving toward greatness you are shining like the star you are sagittarius let's go in your sort of advice here queen of swords king of wands this is emotionally disconnecting. Sorry about that, y'all. Let me see if I can get that brightness right. This is about emotionally disconnecting from whatever this may be, whatever decision you're making, looking at things very logically and taking action toward whatever's bringing you this balance. Again, we have the Page of Pentacles out here. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So whatever this opportunity is, Sagittarius, you're taking it, you're moving forward with it, and you're progressing along your path. So I guess just make the decisions that are best for you here. Do not lead with fear. Do not lead with pride or with your ego. Do not lead with your emotions, especially during this full moon eclipse, right? Emotions can be running really high. The fire can be burning hot, can be burning bright. This is about leading with the wisdom that you have gained through all you've been through and you are coming through as the hermit. So you are very wise. You are the sage, right? You're the sage of the zodiac. Sagittarius, so take that and make it work for you, family. Don't let anything stop you. You are moving toward a wish fulfillment. You are shining. You're glowing up here. And it looks like you're being recognized for all of your hard work. It looks like maybe some of you may be gaining a certain level of fame or recognition, whether this is just locally, whether this is universally cosmically right you're glowing up in a big way here so protect your bubble protect your energy be mindful of who and what you're letting in your energy you guys this is through diet through music through conversation right any any of these gates watch and be mindful what you're letting in these gates you guys because there is a big opportunity here for you so we're gonna um again call on support there's just this major feeling of some type of work maybe co-workers hating on you or or <laughs> or something like that, trying to block your blessings, right? So be open to letting the divine come through, handle that for you, and guide you forward. Family, we're going to grab some oracle cards, see what the divine has to say to this. If anybody wants to take a deeper dive, pop at me. My information's right down below in the description box. You can shoot me a message on social media. You can shoot me an email, book a personal session with me. I will get back with you as soon as I can. 
spirit messages for my Sagittarian family, for my Sag, for my sages. Thank you. Show the world the real you. Prosperity lies ahead. Look at the bigger picture. This is full moon and Sagittarius energy here. You guys are expanding in a big way. You guys are becoming more wise. You got, you guys are about to receive big blessings for all of your hard work here. Be bold and make the first move. Surrender to the divine. Okay, step out of your comfort zone. North node, you guys. We're going to read this uh, Prosperity Lies Ahead, New Moon in Taurus. This card will often come up when you're inquiring about a financial matter or when you're doubting your self-worth. The card suggests that you can have what you want, including material things, but you must believe in yourself. This comes down to the laws of attraction. Value yourself and others will value you too. You can, cre you can create abundance. Sorry about that, Sagittarius. It looks like something really is trying to stop your shine. I'm just going to say symbolically, um, the memory card sort of just shot out on us. And I looked up and it said the memory card was full. It's definitely not full. Uh, yeah, then we now we're having some <clears throat> electrical technical difficulties here. So I'm going to read this card and then we will finish this reading out with some Kali Oracle cards as well. Let's see. We have this new moon in Taurus. I'm going to just reread this card. This card will often come up when you're inquiring about a financial matter or when you're doubting your self-worth. The card suggests that you can have what you want, including material things, but you must believe in yourself. This comes down to <clears throat> the laws of attraction. <clears throat> Excuse me. Value yourself and others will value you too. Maybe somebody doesn't want to hear you speaking your truth or somebody doesn't like your truth or the truth. Huh. Value yourself and others will value you too. You can create abundance. Taurus is associated with luxurious Venus and this card holds the new moon energy. So now is a good time to make a 12-month financial plan. This card can also signal the start of a new relationship or of sexier times. If you've been wrestling with something for a long time, the new moon in sturdy Taurus is a sign not to give up just yet. The affirmation for this card says, get or give a massage, healthy body, healthy mind. Additional meanings for this card, you will soon be able to afford the thing you're dreaming of. Getting clear on what you value the most will help you find peace. Take some time out to pamper yourself and start a standing order to a savings account, no matter how small. Um, bum, bum, bum. Let's see, Divine Mother messages for my Sagittarians. Please, Ma, what do we have here for my Sag? Gang. Thank you. Good looking, Ma. Shodashi cleanses. Shodashi cleanses the soul from past hurts. Her presence indicates recovery and a reclaiming of dignity after experiences of being judged, betrayed, or criticized. If your innate being has been put down in any way or if there has been bullying or nastiness directed towards you, Shodashi brings healing and renewal so you can rise above and lay claim to your innate beauty and worth. <clears throat> When momentum is building and you do not know how to stop fueling the fire or reverse the damage, Kali brings grace and freedom from negative patterning and stubborn mindsets resistant to change. Now is a powerful time for spiritual work and healing practices. She will support the work and much growth can come from it. The storm shall be gentled and you shall emerge unharmed. <clears throat> One last message for my Sagittarians, please. Ma, relief shall come swiftly. Soon you will see things differently. You are going to be liberated from the struggle you are currently experiencing. Be true to yourself and your life path and you will attract the way forward. You will overcome all opposition. Be, re be released into improved circumstances and be supported to bring your sacred path to fruition and y'all always remember who cares what anybody says about you Sagittarius some people really think they know better than God the most high okay they gonna find out real quick that they don't continue following your higher guidance continue following where you are 
supposed to be going. Continue following that path. You guys are truly, truly, truly moving into beautiful abundance, prosperity, wish fulfillment, deep healing, and happiness. So that is what I have for you, Sagittarius. Let's go. Um, before we tap out, we're going to take a deep cleansing breath. We're going to use our will. We're going to draw prana, prana, chi, ki, cosmic energy into our heart space. Picture it as white light or gold light. Draw it into your heart space. Fill up your body. We're going to pause and hold the breath at the top and watch that light radiate out through our aura and fill our energetic body. And as we release, we're going to uh, exhale like we're filling up a balloon, watching any negativity, any doubt, any anxiety, any fear, any anger, any resentment, any lower frequencies whatsoever. We're going to picture it as black smoke or gray smoke or static. Uh, leaving us so the divine can help us transmute that into this beautiful, bright light, y'all. So let's get it. Breathe in. Hold it. Squeeze your perineum. Raise that energy up. Lock it in your heart space. Watch yourself going brighter and brighter. And... Release. Sagittarius, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all more than words. Welcome to all of the new Sagittarius subscribers. I hope this reading resonated. I hope it helped in some capacity. I hope it finds you well and in great spirits. And I hope you have a blessed rest of your day, family. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Adios.